Imagine a car on the market that does not have a fuel tank. Doesn't need an exhaust system. And can accelerate from 0 to 60 in less than 9 seconds. That car is GM's EV1, the car of the future today. The EV1 will be marketed at Saturn retail stores beginning in Southern California and Arizona. The EV1 is GM's first totally electric, non-combustible fuel on board passenger vehicle. It was developed after years of careful research and development to achieve zero emissions. The EV1 also complies with all current government standards for safety and impact protection. Overall, the car is very similar in size to a Saturn SC2. However, the EV1 is heavier due to the weight of its batteries. Other similarities to Saturn include the extensive use of corrosion-resistant non-metal exterior panels. The EV1 is a completely electric vehicle meaning that not only the power plant, but also all accessories rely on electricity for power. Therefore, the range, or how far the EV1 can go, will depend on many factors, including the use of air conditioning, the heater, road conditions, outside air temperature, and driving style. For example, on a 72-degree day, with the air conditioner turned off, on relatively flat terrain, using 85% of the total battery charge, the range could be 90 miles at a constant 55 miles an hour. Assuming the same driving conditions, but in stop-and-go traffic, the range could be as high as 60 miles. When the EV1 is stopped in traffic or at a stoplight, it is not using propulsion power, so range is not diminished. The only energy being used is the power required for the accessory. Top speed has been electronically regulated at 80 miles an hour. Higher speeds will adversely affect the range of the vehicle. The EV1 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in less than 9 seconds. The heart and soul of the EV1 is its electric propulsion system. The power plant has two major components, the power inverter module and the three-phase AC motor. The power inverter module takes the AC power and converts it to DC power in the battery pack. Then, the power is converted back to AC for the drive motor. The inverter takes care of keeping the batteries in charge, at the same time providing energy for the AC motor. The AC motor then uses reduction gears to bring power to the front wheels. There's no transmission on the electric vehicle. The motor has very low maintenance compared to a gasoline engine as it never needs an oil change, never needs spark plugs or belts. It does have a radiator, but only to keep the motor and electronics at a stable temperature. Batteries for the EV1 consist of 26 12-volt lead-acid modules wired in series to form a pack. There's no free liquid inside. All battery acid is held in an absorbing mat wrapped within each module. The battery pack will also disable itself in case of an accident. These are safety features designed to protect the passengers. The absorbing mat prevents any spillage of acid upon impact. There's one 12-volt module under the hood that powers the computer, door locks, and emergency flashers. The battery modules are 98% recyclable and are made from recycled lead. Charging the EV1 is very simple. Just insert the charger paddle into the charging port which is located in the vehicle's front fascia. The EV1 can use one of two chargers, a 6.6 kilowatt system that requires 220 volts of electricity and a portable 1.2 kilowatt charger that can be plugged into any 110 volt outlet. The 6.6 kilowatt charger is designed to be permanently installed at home or at the office, while the convenience charger is situated in the trunk. Both chargers use an inductive electrical system for charging. This inductive system uses magnetic fields to conduct electricity, and it's safer to use than the standard metal-to-metal -metal contact system. As a result, charging in wet weather is as safe as it is easy. 
Recharging times will depend on how much power is left in the battery. Assuming the battery needs 80% of its charge, the 6.6 kilowatt system will take 3 hours and the 1.2 kilowatt charger will take about 15 hours. The batteries have no memory when recharging, unlike NICAD cells. The batteries are manufactured by Delphi Energy and Engine Management, specifically for the EV1. The EV1 lines are strikingly different than those of any other car with its overall teardrop shape, rear fender skirts, and narrow rear track. Underneath the car, a belly pan has been designed to help reduce aerodynamic drag. Trunk capacity is 9.7 cubic feet, which is slightly less than a Saturn SC2 and is designed to accommodate two golf bags. The convenience charger is also located here, along with a net to help secure cargo. Notice that there's no spare tire or jack in the trunk in order to minimize the weight of the vehicle. However, EV1 passengers need not worry about being stranded on the side of the road since the vehicle is equipped with self-sealing tires and a tire pressure monitor that will alert the driver when a problem may be occurring. To enter the EV1, you'll need your personal ID code. The key is optional. Once inside, there are several features that will make you feel more like a jet pilot than an average driver. For starters, you will not find an ignition switch. To start the EV1, you need to enter your ID code and then press the Run button. To turn it off, press the Lock button. After starting the car, you'll notice that there's almost no sound. Since electric cars are virtually silent, there's a button to activate a pedestrian alert alarm. The gauge cluster has several unique displays, such as the range remaining gauge. It serves as a trip computer that registers the last one and a half miles of driving and computes your range according to your driving pattern and status of your battery charge. The state of charge display consists of bars that decrease as the battery's energy is being drained. Each bar represents 9% of the battery's capacity. The gauge button will let you know about the current power consumption of the vehicle. Other displays include the speedometer, gear selection, odometer, and trip odometer. The EV1 comes complete with CD cassette player AM FM radio with four speakers. The car also has dual airbags, power windows and rear view mirrors, air conditioning and heater, and electric front and rear window de-icer defoggers. A unique feature of the EV1 is the preconditioning buttons, which allow you to pre-program the air conditioner or heater for interior climate control. This feature can only be activated while the car is connected to the charger. Other controls, such as windshield wipers and turn signals, are similar to those found in other vehicles. The de-icer on the front windshield is electric, thus more efficient than the traditional air blower on gasoline vehicles. To put the EV1 in motion, select a gear with the joystick-styled lever. Another exciting feature of the EV1 is the coast down button and the regenerative brakes. Both of these devices were designed to help boost the battery's charge. Whenever the coast down button is applied, the car will slow down in the same manner as downshifting slows down a car with a manual transmission. However, the coast down button actually turns the EV1's motor into a generator, which creates electricity to recharge the batteries. The regenerative braking uses the same principle to put energy back into the vehicle, and it's activated every time you use the brakes. This coming fall, General Motors will be the first major automaker in modern times to market specifically designed electric cars to the public. As you can see, the futuristic idea of the all-electric car has been made into a reality. The EV1 was not designed to compete with the combustion engine cars of today, but to complement them. The EV1 is a thrill to drive, which makes cleaning the air more fun than ever.